Hey everyone, it's Mayhem. I'm back with episode 4 of Nothing to Everything. Uh, I do apologize for this episode taking so long to uh, actually get out. I've been pretty sick and pretty busy with other things in real life, so I do apologize. Um, on screen, you will see a picture of the winner. I haven't drawn it yet, but I will uh, do that while I'm recording so I could uh, tell you congratulations. So uh, this episode is about diamond running. It's a pretty boring episode. Uh, the reason why I'm going over these small things like excavating or uh, diamond running or even running rubber is this all goes into future things. Uh, like when we get a house, we're going to need oil and rubber to craft vehicles, which you do over here. Or diamonds to craft weapons, which you could do there or there. Um, if you don't want to watch this one, you don't have to. It's pretty simple since we're starting in Athera from our last episode. Which, by the way, uh, guys, um, if the answer to the, me receiving compensation, which one person commented, was the answer is yes and no. Um, I did not receive compensation uh, because they did not determine him to be uh, uh, banned from that situation. Yes, he used his vehicle, but since it technically did not kill me, uh, the admin did not feel that he did not deserve to be banned, which is perfectly fine. So I talked to a different admin, um, and I had him transfer money from my other account to this one. So I pretty much compensated myself for what I lost. Um, so what we're going to need to run diamonds are a few things. First things first, we're going to need a pickaxe, which is $50. Uh, you're going to want some food with you. Uh, not much. And you're going to want to get the diamond processing license, which is $3,500, which sucks. Trust me. So once you get that, you're going to want to get your your off-road out or whatever vehicle you're using oh, yeah. car. put what that the in unlock the car the jump in no, no, we're gonna leave yeah, um, once I get to the place where we need to go I will go over what talents we're gonna want and what uh, what we're gonna want to keep to process okay so I'll talk to you when I get there okay we're back um, I'm at the medium yield quarry you could go here or you could to the low yield quarry over here um, it's recommended to come over here because I mean it's closer to town and the mineral processing this one was recently added it is in the wide open uh, so you might be spotted processing and people will try and rob you over here people don't really check that often so you can come here um, what you're going to need is the talent point which you should have at least one or more from running uh, oil you're going to want to go down to under Major Miner and get Gem Specialist. This will help you find precious ores. Or not ores, precious gems. So all you got to do is scroll wheel, hit Mine Quarry. Uh, this will take a little bit of time. It will tell you what you've collected. And uh, I'll be back when I have filled up my inventory and I'll tell you what to drop and what to keep. Okay, so the mining completed pretty quickly. Let's look at our inventory. Uh, we got one copper ore. going to want to drop that. Iron ore, that's for something else. We didn't buy that uh, the license for it. 16 diamond uncuts, and we also got a loot crate. Uh, these are very useful for if you purchase loot crate keys, which help you unlock several things. I'll post a link in the description of what they can unlock. I believe they're on the website. But we're going to continue doing this for just a little bit longer. Um, before I continue mining, we're going to look at the market. Um, diamond uncuts, you can sell. You'll get 100. You can sell them just straight up diamond uncuts for 130 each if you really want to or you could process them and you can sell them for 195 each it's another it's an extra 65 dollars per diamond cut it's very useful i recommend processing them if you're afraid of being robbed while processing them you could just sell them uh, diamond uncuts and it's perfectly fine i'll be back when i uh fill up my off-road okay so we finished our mining um we we got some sand some iron and copper uh we dropped all those we only kept the diamond uncuts with an off-road, we can only do 37 inside the off-road and 21 with the backpack we have and other uh, inventory spaces, which isn't that bad. Um, once you get more money, you could purchase other vehicles and use those instead. But you will need a truck license and a talent point to use trucks, such as the flatbed, Hemet, Zamac, and uh, the box truck. Um, I'll go over that in a different episode, and I'll actually purchase one. Uh, let's go process these, which is right down the hill at the old diamond factory which if some of you are from that far back then you'll know what i'm talking about 
but uh, it's over here, and we're going to try and process without getting killed, robbed, or even seen, actually. So let's just go down here. Uh, I don't know how much we'll make from these. Um, if you just did the math, 195 times however many we have uh, for an image for one truck and just a few minutes, it's not bad. Let's park right here. Uh, let's take, I believe we have a full inventory, we do. Alright, run over to the sign, scroll wheel, hit process diamonds. And I'll be back when I process them all. Alright, we finished processing all the diamonds, so we're going to head to the commodities trader, which is in town. I'm not going to take the main road, because we will most likely be seen by someone. They may be friendly, they may not be friendly. So we're going to take the back roads, and we're going to drive to the back of the commodities trader, and we're going to sell everything. Um, after doing some math, hopefully I'm right, uh, we should make about $11,000 from this trip. Maybe a few hundred dollars more than that. And that's just from one off-road. Uh, if you do larger vehicles, you do make more money. And we only did one trip. So it only took us a few minutes to do this. I, I would say about 5 to 10 minutes at most to complete this off-road trip to make $11,000. Is it a slight risk? Yes, there's always a risk with anything you do of being caught. You can't be caught by cops unless you have a bounty. Which, oh, look, a random civilian. Little Jimmy, this guy, Dad. So we're gonna just drive into town, and we might have another town point. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty short episode, um, so I do apologize. But the next episode will probably probably be about running salt and processing salt. Um, these are all gonna go into something bigger. I'm just showing you basics of what to do before we go into the more difficult stuff, such as crafting weapons. All right, so let's pull over here. Uh, we're gonna wanna pull into the back of the commodities trader. All right, we should be here. I believe it's this building. Come to the back, scroll wheel, commodity trader, sell one. They sell for 195 each. Access the trunk, take out the rest. And like I said, $11,310 for one run that only took a few minutes. Now we're going to run, or drive, right through here, a little shortcut, to the Bounty Hunter shop. And this guy's blocking the road. I'll move my vehicle. Here you go. Right, what a nice guy, what a nice guy. Alright, so we're going to get out here. And there's an ATM right in the sign. Hit deposit all, and there we go. Now, if you minus the cost from the uh, from the um, what is it? God damn it! The processing license and the pickaxe, we only made seven thousand seven hundred sixty dollars. But now that we have the license, we will always have the license. We'll always have to buy a new pickaxe whenever you lose it, or if you ever you know drop it to get rid of it. So it's not that bad of money. Uh, we're gonna see we got one talent point which is which is very very good so i'm gonna end the video here um i just gotta do one thing before i say goodbye which is get the winner so let's go to the dmv store the vehicle and uh, i'll discuss that real quick if you look on screen the winner is death the kid he has won the hundred and fifty thousand dollars so, Death the Kid, I'm going to link my Steam profile in the description, okay? You're going to need to send me a friend request, and we'll discuss the 150000 to meet up and give you the 150 k okay? So, congratulations to you, Death. There will be more giveaways in the future. Alright, so you all have a good day. I'll be back within a couple of days with the next episode. Sorry if this one was super short or really boring to watch. Um, really quick before I do end this video, we're going to go over the custom controls. A lot of people have asked me in game on my other account of how to fix the keybind for sound volume like I'm doing in chat to raise my volume from 100% to whatever I have it set to. But what you got to do is go to configure, go to controls. It's going to be under custom controls, which is the drop down menu to the bottom. Custom control number 10. 
you click on it, you type whatever button you want, and then you hit continue, or hit OK, then hit OK again, and then hit continue. Now if you do that, it'll just keep doing 100% each time. So you got to open up your phone, go to settings, and then change the volume right here. If I put it to 84, you'll see how it goes 100%. Now let's change it. 78, 78, 100. See how that changes? Okay. So I like my volume pretty low. I'll just leave it at 25%. All right. The other custom controls are number two, which picks up items around your location. Okay. Mine's set to the slash mark. So I just hit that. And it'll pick up any items within a general area of where I'm standing. So I don't have to worry about scroll wheeling them. Another one will be custom action four. That's for police. Don't worry about that one. Uh, five and six are also for police. Um, I am a cop on my other account. Number nine is for spike ships. You don't have to worry about that. The main ones you're going to use are two, 10, and 11. Number 11 is red goal. Okay. That helps you run for three minutes straight. Instead of having to open up your phone and drink it like a lot of people do, it's really annoying to hit Y, hit inventory, and then click on the red goal and hit use. You press the hotkey and it automatically drinks it for you. And then you don't have to worry about fatigue for three minutes. Okay. So I'm glad we got that out of the way. If you ever want to look at the custom controls, just hit M and then look at controls. It'll tell you how to do everything. Custom one, open player menu. It'll, this will tell you how they work, okay? Um, here's also another few ones for new players. If you ever learn how to surrender yourself, you hit tab. And you read those and you're good to go. All right, everyone, have a good day. I'll see you next episode. Congratulations, Death, and uh, message me for your, your winnings. Bye.